one more round. How'd you like a piping hot bun filled with the, the finest, you most delicious, and delectable honey you've ever tasted? My night's just beginning. Warmth, mm. relaxation, the oh, sweet embrace of pretty love. Oh, oh, that's what I need. Nothing gets the blood pumping like that. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the <laughs> way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I feel so mm. alive watching those Hey there. Mm. All those employees in the mm. That pop. Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. What are you taking? Where are the stupid, stupid, stupid? Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it?
call it, Missy? Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails, you lose. Uh. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged uh, outside and uh, shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Uh, hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me. <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick and to the point. <coughs> Little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. <coughs> Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Hmm? Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Hmm. 
How was it? It's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Flexing. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right, then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. I what have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too happy, okay? The doors are now open for tonight's Queen Baker from the United States. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. <sighs> All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Lovebirds, over here! <sighs> in the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure, where your every desire can be indulged for the right price, all markets. To you esteemed connoisseurs of chaos and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? For tonight, the most crucial spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum!
Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit blood. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the Bloodstar Beast will battle for your amusement in the bonus! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes in tonight's Corneo Cup! This place is really something. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. You two, wait here until it's time. Ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! Alright. Go on! <laughs> Let's hustle. Shit. Double time. It's on you. Here goes. You're burning up. Whatever. <sighs> Can you take over for My me? Turn. No escape. <gasps> huh? Get him. No holding <gasps> back. <gasps> <gasps> So it's my turn? Sorry about that. Too much? You've got this. Let's do this. Get him! That'll do. You jittery? This has never... I can't believe it! And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cologne and Aaron! My condolences. Hmm. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. Well, you bet it all on a toss. 
Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that? <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. I've been working here a long time, but this has never happened before. It's gonna be one hell of a match. Well then, you sure fixed my wagon. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Don't overdo it. I'll take care of them. These missiles are serious business. Let Only the winds the caress you. Was capable of such carnage. Tagging out. My turn. Let's a heroic move Just by Eric as she provides yeah. support for her Stay partner. Back. Save her that heel yeah. and win. Sloppy. Hey. Let it wash Get over you. Ready. Restore you inside and out. Awfully rare are you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> there you are. 
I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I've heard a few stories about you helping out the people of Sector 5. If you don't mind me saying so, though. You could be doing a little bit more. The rule of karma is highly respected in the slums. A somewhat decent person deserves a somewhat decent dress. But really, let's not kid ourselves. Corneo's not even gonna look at what she's wearing. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Feds calling my name. Well, now that you mention it, we do have an early start tomorrow. No! Cloud! Finally! <sighs> Tifa! She... I... Tifa... She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... I just... Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that oh. you're looking out for Tifa. And it all leads so, like, how'd you get so well, strong God, anyway, bro? I said, get your delicious the way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beep, beep, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. <sighs> Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. 
Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. No, no, it's not for you. No, back it up. Ha! Yeah! Go on. Hey, yeah. Uh. Hey, what are you wearing? I hear Corneo likes his girl super duper girly and dolled up. But I thought he might appreciate something a little more down to earth for a change. What? You don't like it? I... didn't say that. Then... does that mean you do like it? Uh... Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. <sighs> I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you, all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. That there is no one hotter than her. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I've done it again. Spent my whole paycheck on my favorite honey girl. It's stronger than the way I'm going to do it. I give her a few for effort. That dress was completely overshadowing her. You are like the beautiful flower that blooms on the glorious place. This is it. Your destination. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Oh, poison sting. Thy name is Beauty. And that can Rodea's show. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The Honey Bee Inn. And here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Come on. 
on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Will you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage? Look at his muscles. Aw, he's flushing. <laughs> I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! You were born for this. Perfection. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. That show today blew my mind! Look at me! I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Just come over I here. Can't help it. I'll buy it you was a amazing. drink. We can talk. Was it planned oh, from the start? No, probably not. Did now you that see was their a show. Look of surprise? That was the best performance I've seen. I'm going to put down. I'm going to put down. I love it. More drink. What do you say? It's a bit much, but please. Why is there anything that makes me hungry? Tonight, please don't. Not a word. Not even one? But one must be no. such flowers from afar. But you're so pretty. I would give anything to get to know her. Hey, one more. The way you Come want. on. I'm buying. Fine, but Hey, little lady, are you lost? Hey, Miss Hack on the mock of the house. She looks like a shame. Oh, why? No, 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 there you go again. Stop looking at other girls. Mm -hmm. I only do it to compare them with you, so I can't. Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come from me? Whoa, that is one hot chick. Come on, taste the thrill. Card pack.
No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. That was Mary and don't go poking Kate. your nose in where it doesn't yes, belong. Is that Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. <coughs> Damn it. Cloud. Hey, hey, hey. How you pretty ladies doing? Feeling a little lightheaded? So we can't have that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Lopsy daisy. Hey, you had to repent, asshole. The hell? You want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Man, it's really got some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, can you hear me? <coughs> Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. <laughs> Well? Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. All right guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this?
Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? <laughs> yeah. Today's bride to be is. <sighs> Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. <gasps> Four yeah. guys between yeah. us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait! <sighs> Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. <sighs> I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what Need a bad boy I bastard. am. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. Uh -huh. oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. When they've lost their minds. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Your parting gift is in the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it.
very night. Damn it, Reeks. <laughs>